So Mark, Dion Rankin and Marcel Lewis depart the club for Chelsea. Just just give us your thoughts on those moves. Really good for them, first of all. We're, we're really pleased for them and really proud of both of them. Uh, two great boys from, from really good families and they've been with us a long time. Um, I think it shows the quality that we've got within the academy that clubs such as Chelsea and, and a number of other big clubs were interested in, in acquiring their, their potential really. Um, but a real good credit to our academy that, that that's where we're at and that's the level that we can get players to, to go on and play at. And uh, yeah, both boys should be really pleased with what they've, what they've done and the opportunity that they've given. Sometimes it's inevitable that some players will move on when the, when the strength of the interest is so big. Um, I spent a number of days at Chelsea with both boys earlier in the, in the summer holidays um, and we're really impressed by, by what, you know, what opportunities were there for them. And, and we had to try and make sure that we provided them with the best opportunity and, and helped make sure that them and their parents were happy with the outcome of, of a move there. And uh, yeah, we're really pleased with, with where we've got to with that and um, as I say, really proud of both boys. So both, you mentioned they've both been at the club since I think under the under nine age yeah, group. Right, so yeah. they've developed over a long period to, to where they are now. To obviously moving on to, to a huge club like Chelsea. Yeah, both talented boys, both really athletic and, and uh, really skillful, and, and have got massive amounts of potential. So two players that have developed over a long period of time since the age of eight, nine years old of being with us. And I think that's credit to the program that they've been part of for a number of years and so many people as well. A number of coaches, uh, a coaching program that, that has really developed them and, and helped fulfill their potential. And I think both boys move on with great memories of the club and, and with a real uh, pride in having represented us as much as we're proud of what they've done. That, that, that's the feedback I've had from, from them and their parents. So yeah, a credit to everybody that's worked with them, um, people that brought them to the club when they were that age and, and have worked with them ever since. In terms of, you talked about the opportunity of moving on, when an opportunity comes comes up like this for an academy player, how important is it that the club, Cambridge United, don't stand in their way and obviously see this as an opportunity to, to progress their development as players? Yeah, it's easy to be disappointed sometimes when players move on to, to different things, but there's so many outcomes for an academy player. It might be that they represent us in our first team and, and go on beyond that. And it might be that this situation will happen at some point in the future. And, and we've got a number of players in the system that that might be the case. We want the players to play in our first team. That's what our supporters want. That's what the staff want. That's the real reward in seeing the work that we've put in all the way through. But we understand that this is one of the aims of the academy. And this is modern football. This is how it works. We're... Um, We've seen in the last week Leon Davis making his debut in the first team. We've seen a number of other boys that have been in and around the first team in pre-season. There's lots of ways in which our academy can operate and be successful. We hope that we can produce some players for the first team, but we accept that this might be a, a road that sometimes happens when the interest and the strength of interest is so large like it was in this case. And just finally, more generally in, the, in terms of the academy, at the start of a, a new season, preparation is well underway. Just tell us... Give us a bit of an update on that and looking forward to the season ahead yeah, of the Yeah, it seems like we've been going for months already. We've been really busy through the summer holidays. Staff have worked incredibly hard. Players have been in and out training and, and taking part in a number of games throughout the summer holidays. We're now back into the school term and the routine of training and the weekly games programme, not just with the scholars, but with the schoolboys as well. Um, and we're excited as ever for the season ahead. We've made the academy better this year. We've made changes to make us stronger. And we're really looking forward for the next 12 months to see how much development and improvement is left in our players. We know there's lots and we hope they get the most out of the year.